Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to your late March reading. Not really date or time specific. Just an easier way to navigate the channel. I am so excited to see you. We are up over 4,000 subscribers now. I feel like we're almost close to like 40, I want to say 4,200. We did this together. So thank you for that for all those who are returning. Your support of the channel means everything to me. Your comments, your interaction, your emails, your questions, most of all, just amazing. And I appreciate you for that. Newcomers, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Please join us. Please subscribe. If you like what I'm doing here, subscribe. I know I'm, <laughs> I'm an acquired taste. <laughs> so if you get my humor and you like what I'm doing, please subscribe. I'm happy to have you here. Welcome, cross watchers. This is for Scorpio, Sun and Rising. May it is a general reading for the collective, so it may not speak to all of you. I'm pulling in the energies of those who are watching um, and what needs to be heard in the moment. Okay, if it doesn't resonate, that's okay. Try to um, find the reading that represents your rising sign if you're here for your sun. Uh, also, be a cross watcher. Watch the sun or rising videos of your divine counterpart. So today we are looking at twin flames empowered. How are we empowering ourselves, first and foremost, as well as our divine counterparts? Even energetically, even in times of separation, we are sending energy. All right, so uh, I want to see how we're empowering each other. That's what we're looking at today. So I'm going to pull two cards from the Moonor Moonology Oracle deck. So the masculine gets its time to take action. New moon in Aries. We just had the new moon in Aries earlier this week. That's why I'm using the Moonology Oracle deck. So this masculine is pretty aligned to the times. Uh, if this is you, if you're here as a Scorpio masculine, it's time to take action. If you're here as a Scorpio feminine, this is the energy surrounding your divine masculine at this time. The feminine gets a fixed moon. Hold your vision, right? What that means is eyes on the prize. Hold your vision of what it is you're trying, what, what intentions you have set, what is it you're trying to call into yourself. Hold your vision. Beautiful energy. And now, just for those who are here as the Scorpio, I am pulling one card from Queen of the Moon Oracle, just for the Scorpio. So, if you're here as a cross watcher, this is not your card. <laughs> if you want your own card, go watch your video. <laughs> See what I said? I'm a little goofy. Okay, beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. This card came out before, card number seven, a highly spiritual number, really uh, all about our intuition, but this card is called Nourishment. Choose to nourish your mind, body, and spirit. Feed your values. When you are jealous or envious, it is a sign of what you are actually hungering for. Pay attention to your health. So this is about nourishing your spirit, nourishing um, feeding those aspects of ourselves that every now and then we tend to step away from. Uh, for example, if you really value a sense of community, it's hard to nourish, it's hard to be in a sense of community when we're all, you know, isolated at home. We're doing it for our fellow humans. We're doing it for humanity. We're doing it for the collective so we can all keep not just ourselves safe, but each other safe. But in the process, we're sort of being very isolated. So in that way, being here is nourishing your need for community, your contribution to community. Get it? So just think along those lines. It is about nourishing yourself feels um queen of pentacles to me scorpio for those of you who are here as a scorpio it feels very queen of pentacles oh you know what i need to do real quick hold on i'm checking my volume levels yeah everything's good 
Sometimes I forget and then I play it back. I'm like, why is that so low? And my audio, for some reason, sometimes when I restart the computer, it just rebalances the um, output. Tech issues. Okay, Scorpio, let's look at this now. For those of you watching, whoa. Oh my goodness. All right. This is going to be a bit of a wild ride here, Scorpio. So what we're looking at here is the Divine Masculine showing up in the energy of the Queen of Swords. That is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Doesn't matter. Masculine, Queen, doesn't matter. The energy of the Queen of Swords is... There, um, the queens have extra added cups energy. They have a little extra emotional availability or um, compassion. The queen of swords, though, cuts to the chase, asks a lot of questions, open book, really big on communicating. Let's talk this out, extends the hand. Let's have a meeting of the minds. So it is high vibration uh, as it shows up right here until I clarify. But a queen of swords in low vibration is not user-friendly at all. I see this feminine showing up here in the three of swords energy. This is emotional pain. This is heartache. I say emotional pain. It is swords energy, but it's the way that we think about a situation that causes the heartache. Right? So... Um, I'm feeling that I'm dealing with a feminine, again, more air energy. So this is very much um, mindset stuff here, a feminine who's feeling wounded. That it can lead, it can be a hint toward third party energy, but right now I don't see that um, until I clarify. In the connection, we have the, the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is walking away, but in this case, it could just be walking away from all the drama, turning the back turning one's back on the drama in this connection. So it can also mean going in search of the Two of Cups, right? Because if we all want the Ten of Cups, right? Rainbow, Nirvana, happily ever after, then you turn your back on the Eight of Cups saying, you know what, this is nice, but it's not working for me. I want my soulmate. And then you take that, you go find that Two of Cups and you bring it back and you add it to the eight and you got the 10. So I, sometimes it's that kind of energy. How is this masculine empowering the feminine? I get the Four of Cups. I almost feel like um, and this, is a, this is a masculine who is empowering a feminine to not miss an opportunity. The Four of Cups is usual, usually, it can be friend zoning somebody, um, it can be rejection, emotional rejection, it can be a lot of things. So being that this is the way the masculine is empowering the feminine, I feel like the masculine is saying, hey, look right up here, there's a big Ace of Cups, ah, like let's do this. And don't miss this opportunity. So we'll see when I clarify. Again, it, when I clarify, it could totally change, but I'm trying to let you know what I see here just in the main spread. Feminine is empowering the masculine to put the burden down. Lay it down. Done. Ten of wands. End of a burdensome cycle. So even though this is a feminine that's in some measure of pain or, or um, um, like heart heaviness, is empowering the masculine to lay down a burden to... to um, Yeah, to not shoulder, to not shoulder the burden of some situation any longer. Okay, in the extended, there will be a link below in the description box for the extended version of this reading. If it's speaking to you and you want to follow more and see the outcome, here's what I'm going to talk about. Blocks or challenges to overcome in this connection strengths between you within this connection that would help you overcome the blocker challenge the um, actions behaviors or intentions toward the feminine from the masculine the actions behaviors or intentions toward the masculine coming from the feminine outcome and timing the outcome cards have been a little less look you know far distant it's like you know the next best step what what you can expect to um 
be the next thing to occur, if that makes sense. In other words, not necessarily a resolution, just like what's the next best step. Okay, Queen of Swords here. Scorpio, you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Another water sign here. Juggling realities on the ground, blah, blah, blah. blah. This is a masculine who um, could be weighing options, could be trying to juggle priorities. Like there, there's a lot going on right now, guys. If you're watching when I'm posting this, you know, the world is spinning off its axis and we all have lots of things we have to attend to. Um, yeah, that's exactly what's happening. This is a masculine who's pulling back energy of Pisces here um, in the hanged man, pulling back and delaying gratification, sort of more of the focus is being given on what's happening right here in real time for this masculine. That's why all the balls are in the air. They're kind of juggling. They got to think quick on their feet. I do feel it has to do with some truth, some um, something that requ that requires conversation and communication, but they can't, um, they don't have the space for that right now. They don't have the space for that right now in real time. So they're delaying that gratification. They're making a sacrifice, pulling back here, sort of, you know, hanging out in, you know, suspended animation waiting for illumination, waiting for the sign from higher sources that the coast is clear, that they can stop juggling and now resume life as normal. So I sort of feel this is a masculine who has a lot going on, we all do, and who is almost putting this conversation that needs to happen on a back burner. That may not sound good to you, um, it does have to do with regret of the past or a sense of loss, mistakes of the past, regrets of the past, something that has happened between you where uh, their focus is on these three cups or your focus is on these three cups. And instead of looking behind this figure, see right behind this figure, I don't know if you can see, there are two cups. What was I just talking about? Two cups, the two of cups. So I do feel that this masculine knows that a conversation has to happen about what went down between you. But for now, they're putting that on ice because they have a lot of imminent, you know, immediate priorities to tend to. Feminine showing up here, three of swords. Feel free to flip these energies around. If you feel that this represents more of your energy and this is the divine mask, do you see what I'm saying? It, it's okay. Three of swords, whoa. There's the four cups. <sighs> All right, so what I'm seeing here is a feminine who's been so hurt, possibly in this connection in the past. This is a card of the past. That they have, that they are overlooking something right in front of them. There's that Ace of Cups, see? Being handed to this figure from spirit. But this feminine seems very much steeped in their emotional pain, in their heartache, in the wounds of this past situation. And they're almost, they're about to overlook. They're about to miss an opportunity here. There's an emotional detachment here. That's because they're overthinking things. This is the Eight of Swords, being, being trapped in a prison of your own making on a mental level, on, you know, in your thoughts. It's not the nine of swords. It's not like you're losing sleep here, but you are overthinking things a bit. Mm -hmm. And I kind of feel like, um, I kind of feel like what's happening is behind the scenes, unconscious to you, what came out on the bottom of the deck, which is our unconscious energy, right? It's all, that's all what's brewing behind the scenes where it's out of our conscious awareness is you're trying to manifest something here. Magician energy, we've got, um, that's Gemini and Virgo energy. I just like to say that so you know what characters are coming around to play. It, it may not have any meaning to you and that's fine. But this is the energy of manifestation. 
having all the tools you need at your disposal to figure this out. Get out of your own way. So I do feel I have a feminine here who's overthinking things, who's a lot in their head about something that went on in the past with this divine counterpart, or maybe even in another relationship, but to the point where it's interfering with the smooth flow of their own processing of the situation, and they're going to miss an opportunity. And that's exactly what the masculine is saying is don't miss this opportunity. I'm empowering you to look at this Ace of Cups. I like it. I like where this is going. Okay, so now let's see this Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here in this connection? Please, Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, I love this. Oh, I want to cry. Okay, yes. Let's move forward, chariot. Yes, make a choice of the lover. Oh my gosh. Deep breath, Scorpio. Or cross watcher. Eight of cups. It is what I said it is. Turning the back on drama. Walking away from drama. Whatever drama has gone down, it's behind you. If it's not behind you, that's what you need to work on. That's what you need to manifest. Um, and that is something only you can do or whoever I'm speaking to, who's the, who is the energy in pain. So turning the back on the drama, even your own, even if you've whipped this up to a frenzy, that's drama. So turn your back on your own head fake, right? Like do, do, do whatever it takes to kind of reframe the situation for yourself because it's time to start over. Page of Pentacles is a fresh start. It isn't sky written for you. There isn't going to be someone on bended knee proposing. This is a fresh start. This is something like it's just coffee. It's just lunch. Now, if you're not someone who's in the in in an area where you're able to get together socially, um, this is Skyping. FaceTiming, right? Uh, I'm saying it's, it's a pinnacle. It's something tangible that you can kind of bring about here in the 3D to kind of turn the page and start over. Fresh start. For who? For the Queen of Cups. Scorpio. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, but it's water energy. Queen of Cups. High vibration love. Emotional availability. Heart wide open. Compassionate emotionally generous this is also a very spiritual energy this queen of cups someone who's very in tune with their intuition and their higher self as well high priestess doesn't you know uh occupy that corner of this of the world of the universe so to speak underneath the deck chariot moving forward yes if you if 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 you turn your back on the drama and you turn the page and start over start from square one with wide open heart emotional availability you will move forward in this connection and then you can make a choice lovers chariot is cancerian energy uh lovers is gemini what that feels like to me is moving forward toward choosing this connection got dust all over this <laughs> should have done a little housekeeping first see what i'm saying okay masculine is empowering this feminine with the four of cups do not miss this opportunity masculine is saying i'm empowering you to accept the ace that's being gifted to you here by spirit that's exactly what he's saying emperor this is a masculine who knows they're the masculine and understands what this connection is about. Stepping up the game here. They've been on a very spiritual journey. Energy of Virgo and the Hermit here. This is somebody who's done the inner work. It may even be to some degree that this masculine is empowering the feminine to be the guide 
Um, because this is all about, you know, this is a masculine show. Like, don't miss the opportunity. Opportunity for what? For the masculine. For this connection. Do the inner work. This is kind of a solitary journey. It is a journey, journey of self-discovery, self-exploration. Um, and I kind of feel like the masculine is saying, yeah, take whatever time you need, because this is also Kronos, Father Time in Greek mythology. Take whatever time you need. Look at him. And, and when you're ready, step out and then show me the way. Light the path. It's a masculine who's open to that is what I feel. Yeah, he's, the masculine is saying, do not fear. Don't be, don't be stuck in the fear of what you can't see, of what isn't clear to you. Do that inner work. Feminine is saying, I empower you to lay this burden down. Wow. Underneath the deck, this is a feminine looking for fairness, balance, and equal give and take in this connection. But the way this feminine is coming at it is, is empowering a masculine to lay down a heavy burden and saying, yeah, this is going to be some work, but we, we're, we're creative. We can come up with creative solutions to our problems. You don't need to shoulder the whole thing by yourself. Let's lay this burden down together. Do the hard work it's going to take. It's time to walk a new path. Two of Wands. Two paths are before you. And this feminine is saying, which path are you going to walk? Are you going to take easy street? Or are you going to put your head together with me and come up with creative solutions to our problems? So I feel that that's why the underneath energy, the unconscious energy of this feminine is things need to be fair and balanced here. There has to be an equal give and take, some, some measure of recipro reciprocity between us that has been missing. And I also feel this is an energy of graciousness on the part of this feminine. This, this figure here is giving alms to the poor, right? So I feel like there's an energy of graciousness, uh, a benevolence here on the part of the feminine saying, look, we're, we're in this together. We're smart. We, we can, you know, come up with a creative solution here in the 3D so you don't have to juggle everything all by yourself. And which path will you choose? Are we doing this together or are we flying solo? If we're doing it together, then we've got to do it together and it has to kind of be fair. Sixes are about balance. That's a six of pentacles. Okay, dear Scorpios, if I am speaking your story and you would like to follow me to find out the rest of the story, the link to the extended is below. Right next to that or below that is a link to the Priestess Lounge. That's a private Facebook group. That link gives you automatic access. I feel there's there's one question. It's a checkbox. Where, check box, where are you on your Twin Flame journey? Just check the box. Helps me know who I'm dealing with, what kind of um, connections we have going, coming into the group. And then I'll see you there. I do live readings there a couple times a week. And we're over 100 members now. We're growing. I think we're close to 120. So we're, we're really um, a group of positive-minded individuals supporting each other during difficult times. And I hope to see you over there. So that's my open invitation. Thanks for coming. And I will uh, see you on the other side for the extended. Bye.